What are the major limitations of discretionary fiscal policy? The first one is lawmaking time lag. Usually for any parliament, in order to take this additional discretionary fiscal policy in terms of increasing government spending, like injecting more liquidity into the economy or decrease tax rate, the parliament member will take time to get these new laws. Consequently, it might be too late to be implemented because the economy has been suffering for some time already. The second limitation is there is a shrinking area of parliament discretion or lawmaker discretion. It means that already the power given to the parliament is decreasing day after day. The third limitation will be our potential output is imperfectly estimated, which means do we actually know what is our potential output? We say that our potential output is the maximum output in which we utilize all our resources efficiently. Therefore, do we know what is the actual number of potential output? It's based on our econometric model. Therefore, each model will give you a different figure. So we don't know precisely what's our potential output. The last limitation will be the economic forecasting is not an exact science. It's not a natural science, which means each model we use to forecast the economy is different than the other. Therefore, if we'd like to know what would be the impact of increasing G on our real output, it's not an exact science. We wouldn't know for sure what would be the exact number because we have different assumptions and whenever we use these assumptions, we will have forecasting error.